Now you see me, now you don't. Now you see me, now you don't. Oh, sorry, just practicing my flicker jumps. Nick speaking, and welcome to this video. Um, right, another quick update on my Get It Painted challenge. I'm painting these 15 warp spiders. Um, but first of all, just a huge welcome to all the new uh, challengees that have uh, decided to join this challenge with me. Uh, thanks very much for joining and really appreciate it. Uh, Google Plus page, the link is in the description below. Go and check that out. Have a look at all the fantastic uh, challenges that are going on. And if you see any YouTubers there that you're not subscribed to, then please, please give them a sub. Uh, right, okay, so what have I been up to? So uh, from the previous video, um, I continued to uh, paint the black. Uh, so I've painted all the black. Um, I've highlighted the black with a dry brush. Um, and then I went over the red once again, um, just uh, basically hiding all of the dry brush work that I'd sort of been a bit messy with. Um, and then I've gone in and I've washed the hair, uh, which I originally painted warlock purple, dry brushed it white, I've now washed it purple. It looks really cool, matches obviously the rest of my army quite nicely. So let's zoom in and have a quick look at what I've been up to. So let's start off with just a normal guy. So there you go. Uh, so yeah, I did uh, the little wire that's on his sort of face mask section. Uh, then I went over with a dry brush, just carefully dry brushed it with Codex Grey. Um, it's the type of highlighting that I like to do on my black for my Alda, slightly different than edge highlighting, um, but I like the sort of subtle highlight that it gives. Um, so I did all that, I tried to go as neat as I could, uh, however, um, also as I dry brushed the uh, hair, of course I made it slightly messy on the red, uh, it was always going to be the case, it wasn't too much of a problem, I just went over with just a very gentle um, coat of uh, red, um, I didn't have to go into all the recesses or anything, just, just a little, little brush over with the red really, so I've covered all that, um, and then, um, like I said, I've gone in and I've washed the hair colour with this uh, purple wash, and that is how the hair is looking, I think it's looking pretty cool, I'm really happy with it. Um, let's bring in an exart, let's bring in this guy, that's how he's looking. Uh, now the next stage is to paint the purple, uh, now I do two base coats of purple actually, I do the Hormagaunt purple and then light purple. If you do light purple directly over the white it comes out dreadful, so you've got to do that base coat first. Um, it's going to be quite tricky. I'm basically doing the backpack, um, but there's some quite tricky areas to get that paint into. Um, and I'll also be doing the straps on the Exart uh, legs. Now I do have another little issue because the stage after uh, the purple is the gold. Uh, so that will be all the runes basically. Now the issue that I've got is on this Exart, uh, looking at his chest plate, now I don't know how well this is going to come out, let's see if I can zoom in a bit more, probably not. So basically the uh, the mould of the chest plate of that guy there um, is dreadful. Um, I thought at first it may have been where I hadn't stripped it properly, maybe it had some paint still in the mould, but uh, looking at the mould under magnifying glass uh, showed me that it wasn't that at all. Uh, basically the, the cast is just messed up somehow. Um, and it's got some intricate sort of runes on there. Uh, let's see if I can get one which has got the actual runes on. I don't know again how well this is going to be picking it up. But um, yeah, the runes are pretty delicate. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do Hopefully it's focusing now. Um, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to manually um, paint in the the rune shapes, almost like freehand them in. Um, I think that's my only option, certainly at this stage anyway. So it's obviously not going to be quite as good 
but um, I think it's going to be the best that I'm going to have to, you know, the best that I can do. Um, but I'm not at that stage yet. Uh, the first stage or the next stage is going to be that purple, um, and I think it's going to be quite hard work to be fair to paint that purple. As I said, it's two coats. I've got to go all in the inside of those backpacks. Um, but uh, yeah, that's my next task. So that is it for this video. Uh, thanks very much for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed the update. Uh, keep those paintbrushes moving and I'll see you in the next one.